back, woman. This is Tracy Johnson with ERA Waldrop Real Estate, and I have the honor of interviewing Sergeant Joey Duncan with the Pullman Police Department, and I have Joey West, one of our agents here at ERA Waldrop Real Estate. We are going to be talking about um, some of the issues that we've got going on here in Pullman um, with our fatalities and our traffic and all those good things. So tell me a little bit about what's going <clears> on, some of the concerns we have. We, uh, as the police department, have seen an increase in number of traffic crashes um, really since the last five years. Um, so we've taken new approaches to lower these crashes. And the fatalities last year was probably the highest we ever had, which was a total of seven. This year it's at two, which is a bad number for us. But we've done a lot of different measures to lower that number and also we're trying to get the traffic crashes down. So what kind of, what do you see and why do you think there's such an increase in the Coleman area? We, well, we, we know what's causing the most wrecks is our three leading categories is falling too close, speeding, and distraction. Um, and we believe that the distraction actually leads into a lot of the falling too close. It's kind of hard to specify that in a number, but we really believe that. Um, some of the factors I believe is Coleman is just growing as a town. Yes, it is. Um, which is a good thing, and more people are wanting to live in Coleman. So we're just trying to get issues to keep lowering that number. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's really hard because you've got so many people coming in and going back and forth, traveling on 278 and 31. We've got all these major thoroughways coming through Coleman and with the interstate and the 278 and 69 and 157. How much of an impact do you think that has? We, uh, well, obviously more people's moving in, uh, but I think the, the biggest part of it is people's just not paying attention when they drive. A lot of right. Yeah, I saw somebody putting makeup on this morning coming to work. Yeah, that's not You know, so idea. you've got texting, texting, you've got talking on the cell phone, on cell phone, eating, which I'll admit I'm guilty of. I get busy. Do that. <laughs> no, none of us ever do that. Um, but putting their mascara on while they're driving. Yeah, definitely I mean, something that's, you, that's you, scary. you don't need to be doing. Obviously, you know, that you can pull over or do it at the house. Yeah. So what are some of the other things that you think are causing some of these things? That well, we, we know in our fatality crashes, the number one cause is running red light. So just paying attention, you know, obviously, you know, don't proceed through a traffic signal. And then when it goes to just crashes, it's following too close is by far number one. And like I said, the distractions is um, a lot of people want to, whether play on their phone, look away, they're not really focused on driving. They may be focused on the kids in the back yeah. and all those issues need to be corrected so they can focus on driving. Okay, and it's just that, that split second, just mm -hmm. the blink of an eye, how easy something can happen, it's scary. It you is, it is. And then when you add speed to it, that's gonna intensify the injury and increase that. Okay. So obviously speeding's very important too, so we wanna make sure people's within the speed limit. Are there certain areas that you see a huge influx? I mean, are there certain roads, certain areas, kind of things that we need to be aware of? Or There are. Uh, we print off stats every two weeks, and it tells us where the most crashes occur. Okay. And then what we do with those stats is we take them to what we call specialized traffic enforcement. Um, and like... Last last week, when, I, when they were printed off, the 278 and 31 area was the number one crash area within two weeks. So then what we do with that is we do a specialized traffic enforcement, and an hour to two hours, we try to cite as many violators as we can to send a strong message that people need to pay attention, stop speeding, and follow the traffic laws so it helps lower the crash rate. Okay, okay. So, and you feel like all those little things are helping and obviously we're trying to educate the community right. as to these issues that we're having. Let's make Coleman a safer place to live and traffic and drive and just, you know, this is our home. Let's take care of it. it Let's is. take care of our friends <clears throat> and our family and our neighbors. Correct. We we do. We've had success with it. We've actually lowered the fatalities for this year, which is which was very uh, a goal we set out in January was to lower the number from seven. Right now we've done that by a drastic amount. Also, the crashes, we've had a couple of good months, so we know these positive reinforcement things we're doing are working, so we're gonna continue those. Okay. Having a good presence in the community is one thing. Like yes, sir. Yeah. Well, and really, just edu overall educating the community on these It's been things. my experience. When yeah. I was younger, I'd get in a hurry, wouldn't plan my time out. Now, I just if I'm late, I'm trying not to speed. Just take yeah. your time, get there. Just be conscious, yeah, be, be aware conscious. Of, of your surroundings. It is hard. I mean, we all lead 
very busy lives, but mm-hmm. and the way the towns are just a lot more important. Yeah, yeah, that is a tough area. Yeah. Two seventy eight and thirty one. Well, and I think because Coleman is still, we still, you know, it's home. It's it's that um, that small community, and we still have that presence. But when it's growing so fast, mm-hmm. you can't be stopped in the middle of the street talking to your friend or your family member. Or blowing through a red light. Uh, or blowing mm-hmm. through a red light because, you know, there is somebody that's going to be behind you and, and those are not things that you can do anymore. You know, you really got to be conscious of your surroundings and, and pay attention. So we appreciate everything that you guys do for us and helping keep us safe. Thank you. Thank you. So, so thanks for visiting with us this afternoon. Let's um, help these guys, help Joey, Sergeant Joey and the Coleman Police Department and all the um, our first um, responders in the community. Let's help take care of them, help take care of our community, our friends, our family, and make Coleman a safe place to live. Thanks for visiting with us this afternoon. You guys have a great day, and we will see you soon.